All right guys, so just a quick look at another one of the travel type pillows. You can also, of course, use this at home or wherever you need it. Um, I just want to show you the packaging and get that out of the way real quick. It has a little plastic uh, handle here, so if you want to store it, carry it, transport it, whatever, in the packaging, you have the option to do so. Also included is a set of earplugs in a nice little plastic case, so that's very nice and convenient. You have a very nice mask, it's very nicely padded, it's also super soft, has some soft type elastic, so no discomfort from that, and it's very comfortable, no uh, unusual smells or anything else to deal with, that's always nice. And then you have a little travel bag, drawstring type enclosure, uh, closure. And leaving this attached, I suggest you do so, but you know, I guess if you have a good memory, you don't have to do so. But part of the reason for that, I guess, is if someone's never used it, it has instructions included, a thank you, a support email that you can contact them. And then the main reason is because it has cleaning instructions on the back. And then it, of course, has another thank you and email again. But nice that it has the instructions included. Now the material that they're using on all of their stuff is what they're calling micro velvet. Velour is what it feels like. I guess it might be the same thing. And the unique aspect beyond the fact there's two different types. There's an M type and a U type. And that basically deals with the degree of curvature in the neck support area and these raised portions. So there's a slight variance. You can kind of check out the link below the video and see the difference between the two. But there's a minor change in the amount of uh, the curvature. So that's the main thing that is going to be different between the two. Uh, other than that, the cover is removable. There's a zipper here and of course that is what containing the PVC bladder and it, it's very easy to open and close but it's a lot easier when it's not inflated. So I would suggest not trying to mess with it too much when it's inflated. Now the cool aspect and probably what has you checking out this product is unlike the memory foam type which are a fixed size because you know memory foam compresses and returns to shape hence the name you have some issues with portability if space is a major major problem where this will compact down a little bit more so and it's inflatable with this built-in inflation uh, and dual valve system so you don't have to worry about blowing this thing up or having a fixed size so if I open this up you can see that the air maintains and does not deflate but there's a little rubber flap right here and if you just press this down and then press on the inside there you can deflate this thing very quickly and you can kind of roll that up to empty all the air out and then you'll have you know the portability aspect you can just roll it up and slam it into the uh, little pouch but the inflation aspect of it is very easy and it doesn't take very long I'm not gonna pump it up fully but you can see it's almost completely done I've got one whole side with very little effort and little time so that's all that's really required and you can adjust this with a more firm filled air or you can leave it like this if you prefer not so much so nice to have some options it's a little more flexible than what you might have with uh, a standard memory foam type and there's the PVC bladder on the inside so just a super comfortable and I think pretty uh, nice option with the uh, inflation aspect. So you can check out the link below and find out more. And again, check out the different contours between the two different models available. Make the decision based on what you think is going to suit you the best. Okay, well, that's pretty much it. Thanks.